um, it's, it's a real honor to present to the World Health Organization and, and GCHA on our initiative. And it's a bit different because it's not necessarily something that directly reduces um, carbon emissions. It's something that's going to change our, our attitudes towards nature and what nature means for health and by extension, help us, help us um, reduce carbon emissions and fight climate change. So I'm just gonna start, see if I can start my presentation here. Um, okay. Oops. All right, so I am director of PARX, um, which is Canada's first national nature prescription program. And it sort of follows um, in the footsteps of a number of different park prescription programs that arose mainly in, in uh, the United States about a decade ago. And so it began sort of as this grassroots organization, um, as grassroots organizations that wanted to connect people to nature for the health benefits through prescriptions by healthcare professionals. And has since spread to a number of different countries around the world and Canada as of 2020. So as I mentioned, this is a pan-Canadian initiative and it's powered by the BC Parks Foundation, which is sort of the official charitable uh, partner for BC Parks. And one of the major areas that they really are trying to work on over the next few years is connecting people to nature for the health benefits. Essentially, BC Parks Foundation, one of their major goals is to conserve a lot of the beautiful natural ecosystems that we have within British Columbia. And because of research, and because of testing of public messages, they've realized that alerting people to the health benefits of nature is one of the best ways to motivate people to do that. So nature provides a whole bunch of different, um, different services for us from, uh, from reducing air pollution to uh, reducing heat exposure by reducing the urban heat island effect with green spaces in cities to nature-based climate solutions, um, making our shorelines and our forests healthier so that um, when we are confronted with natural disasters that will be more resilient and we won't need to build as much um, physical artificial infrastructure um, to mobilizing the health community in, in, term, uh, in terms of getting physicians and nurses to start prescribing nature and start realizing the health benefits of nature and conservation and reducing health inequalities by making sure that nature is accessible to a wide variety of people from, from different walks of life, thus improving their health overall. So in terms of the stakeholders for our program, um, it ranges from national and provincial health organizations to national and provincial parks associations and licensed health care professionals and patients. And in terms of where um, the funding is coming from, to be honest, the most funding is coming from in-kind support and volunteer hours from physicians, nurses, and medical learners. But we did, we did uh, land a $50,000 dual innovation grant from the Canadian Medical Association in a category of sustainable healthcare. And we also are receiving some staff support um, from the Healthy by Nature program, which is part of what the BC Parks Foundation is running. And we launched in November, 2020, and we're, um, working on ongoing implementation across the country. And this little photo you can see is a, a webinar that we did for all of um, BC's general surgeons, uh, which was part of their grand rounds. So there's a wide variety of different healthcare professionals who are interested in, in our program. Now, in terms of um, the impacts of our initiative um, and how it, facts, uh, how it fights the impacts of climate change on health, so there is a wide range of research proven health benefits of nature from improved blood pressure and diabetes to chronic lung disease and ADHD in kids. And research also shows that prescribing nature um, is good for the planet because research shows that people who are more connected to nature are more likely to protect it. And in fact, the UN Environment Program has estimated that fully embracing nature-based solutions for climate change will get us more than 30% of the way towards our Paris Agreement targets. So right now, um, Basically, as many of us know, it's estimated that if global healthcare were a country, it would be the fifth highest emitter in the world. And anything that does, um, that works to reduce, uh, to improve patient health is also going to reduce carbon emissions within the public healthcare system. And also by creating a body of healthcare professionals and patients and kind of general society that, that values nature, this will in turn build more support for nature-based climate solutions, which currently only get about 3% of global climate investments. And so given the fact that there's a 30%, uh, over 30% potential for reduction in carbon emissions, and there's only a 3% investment, I think this initiative can go um, a major way towards closing that gap. 
Now, in terms of the implementation process, a fair amount of work went into our website. So our website is www.parkprescriptions.ca if you want to check it out. And we really put an emphasis on the evidence and the research because we were really trying to speak to both a health audience, but also a government audience to increase support uh, for funding for nature and health initiatives. So we, we made sure that we created these evidence-based fact sheets subdivided by health issue. We targeted health and parks associations by focusing on physician and nurse associations. And we're working on ongoing collaboration with health professionals and learners. So for example, um, in Ontario, the Hamilton Family Health Team, which is the largest family medicine team um, in the province, is currently working on implementing PRX for over, uh, for over 300 different prescribers. So in terms of um, what we've achieved, so far we've launched in two provinces. Um, in November 2020, we launched in British Columbia, and in February 20, oh sorry, uh, yes, February 2021, we launched in Ontario, and we currently have active teams in Alberta, Quebec, Saskatchewan, and Saskatchewan working on launches, and we've also made inroads with um, organizations, health associations in, in other provinces and territories. Right now, we have over 700 prescribers registered, the majority being physicians and nurses. And just for context, um, one of our sister programs in, in the US took three years to get to 1,000 prescribers. So I think we're doing pretty well here in Canada. And we've also been really grateful for widespread media coverage. So every single major media organization um, from television to print has actually reported on our initiative, which has in turn increased publicity and increased support in the health organization, in health organizations and from the general community. So in terms of challenges, I mean, this isn't really, you know, a physical initiative, so we don't have sort of infrastructure challenges, but really the challenges for us to launch were time, resources and energy and COVID-19. I mean, I, I, like, I would say I probably put the most um, the most work into this launch and when the pandemic hit I had a six, you know five-year-old at home and had to homeschool and you know um, I'm also a family doctor so run my clinical practice and also try to launch this at the same time so it pushed our timelines back a bit. In terms of the lessons that we've learned, we've learned in trying to launch across the country that that cross cultural cross cultural relevance is really important. So this kind of one size fits all prescription um, doesn't necessarily fit with um, in the north, for example, when we try to roll out. So because Indigenous people in the north are so tied to the land, what are the implications of prescribing or recommendation, rec recommending nature to people who already value it so much? So these are just some considerations that we've, um, that we're working on. And also the nature health, we also learned, which is a positive, is that the nature health connection has become really compelling to people during the pandemic. So it's a perfect time for us to, to emphasize these nature health initiatives and also to move forward the idea that nature-based climate, um, nature-based solutions for climate change are, are ideal for people and, and the planet. So in terms of next steps, we're working on ongoing rollout across the country, as I mentioned. We're also working with some uh, medical learners to create an online accredited continuing education module for prescribers. And at the same time, we're also investing in a mobile app for phones to track and incentivize time spent. A ação de um aplicativo para telefones móveis. Nós fomos abordados por várias instituições acadêmicas que estão interessadas em trabalhar conosco. Around nature and health and nature prescriptions. Eles querem saber mais sobre essa prescrição de natureza para os pacientes. Bom, é isso que eu tinha para dizer. Obrigada.